Alright, so we've learned about a variety of automation tools that are available to you as a Salesforce admin. The main thing that you're going to want to know, especially in practice, but also in the certification exam, is when to use each automation tool, when it appropriate, and what are its limitations, what can you actually fulfill with each automation rule or automation tool. So there's this chart that's very helpful that kind of explains what each can do and how they can do it. So for a workflow rule, you can see you can only create a task. You you can't invoke a process, delete a record. You can send an email. You can update a field. And you can submit for approval. And it supports a time-based action. Approval process can only create a task, so on and so forth, can send an email, can only update a field of a record or parent, whereas the Cloudflow can update any record. And Process Builder can update any related. Remember, we could update child records. So during the exam, if they say, if the requirement is, or the, or the use case to give you is to update all child records, you want to narrow it down to Process Builder or Cloud, and usually, nine times out of ten, it's the simpler process. So Cloudflow being the most advanced, if you can get away and do it with the Process Builder, then that's your best bet. And if you can get away by doing it with Workflow, then that's your best bet. The simplest answer, especially when it comes to the exam and actually best practice, is the right answer, right? I, I mean, sort of like Occam's, uh, Occam's razor. Um, so it's, this chart's very helpful. It'll explain uh, what you can do with each automation tool. I want to go over to, just at a high level, uh, workflow, for example. Workflow is done if you want a simple criteria met for one criteria or a set of a criteria, you know, um, let's say if the record is created by this person and the status is this, then do this. If you wanted to add multiple criteria and multiple decision trees, so if it's this, do that, or if it's this, do that, then you're going to want to look at Process Builder. Okay, so Workflow is your simple criteria, um, or maybe it's an advanced criteria, but it only has one action or multiple actions, but there's there's no if it does this then it does that so it, if there's a if else then you're, you're looking at process builder and if it's just looking for a specific if statement such as if a field value equals this then create a task then it's going to be workflow approval process really anything related to approval is going to be your you're going to want to use your approval process if, if the exam says you want to submit something for managers approval then you're going to use approval process. Remember the approval process can create a task but no other record. It can send an email or update fields. Uh, can't start a flow or no time-based actions for approval process. Cloudflow, the key to Cloudflow is you're going to get questions based around um, user, if a user is displayed a message or if a user is required to input something, then it's going to be Cloudflow uh, in that case. So for example, a call center script. If you want to present to the user a call center script and they're going to enter data and kind of be guided as a wizard, then that's going to be a Cloudflow. And typically Cloudflow is, is the most powerful. You can create a record and delete a record. It's the only one where you can delete a record. That's something else you'll want to know. You can, the only way you can delete a record through automation tools through Cloudflow. You can update any record. So you can query for uh, or do a lookup for a specific record that meets a specific criteria. And it doesn't even have to be to related necessarily to the, the um, object or record that started the flow or that you kicked the flow off with. Um, so Cloudflow, the most powerful uh, you can do the most stuff. It can pretty much fulfill anything that these three can do, but you don't want to build a flow for every single process because 
it's relatively complex, um, especially for beginners, and usually not in the wheelhouse of the admin. Cloudflow, I would argue, would go more towards the declarative uh, developer functionality. So keep that in mind. Cloudflow is for declarative uh, developer. Um, it's, it's more uh, complex, and it, it's, it can accommodate the most... It can pretty much accommodate anything that any of these can do. And yeah, so, so use this tool, use this chart, and remember that the simplest answer is probably the best answer both in real life scenarios and in the exam.